I'm Moyo, and this is Shy Chat. Another episode of Shy Chat. I'm your host Moyo, and today I will be interviewing Miss Ellen Ransom, who is a portrait artist and substitute coordinator at Evanston Township High School. How are you? Good. Well, before we get started, okay. I'm watching. Thank you. Let's Thank see. Thank you for coming to my show. <laughs> and your show was in? In February. It was all of Black History Month um, and through January 28th, March 28th. Yes. Lovely. Do you want to talk a little bit about this painting? Maya Angelou, um, one of our paintings I did for the American Heart Association. And I sent it to her, so I wanted to make sure. Thank you so much. It's already framed, so I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> That's <laughs> That's <laughs> right, like, it's perfect. Well, welcome to my show. <laughs> so I'm really excited to interview you and talk about your 9 to 5 mm -hmm. and what you do on the side as well, which is um, painting portraits. So you are the substitute coordinator at Evanston Township High School. How yes. long have you been doing that for? 18 years. Wow. Yes. So you've seen, I'm sure, a lot of changes. And what have you seen? How is that? Lots Here's of changes. Highlight. It's actually gone from a uh, manual, which would be me, <laughs> uh, process of calling every morning mm -hmm. and things like that and arranging everything to a more um, automated system. Yeah. But I still am very much needed to manual, you know, to manage that. So yeah, yeah it's, it's changed a lot. Okay, and then on the side as yes. well, you, what we're here to talk about <laughs> is you are a portrait artist and you draw, yes. correct? Yes. So how long, I know I, when I was researching you, you said your entire life, Pretty much. but it really started in high school. Yes. So how did that come about? Did you just one day when you were younger just pick up a pencil and start sketching? How did it all start? Um, actually, my my uh, brothers, I have three brothers, and one my oldest, we used to sort of do a little competition, mm -hmm. on, <laughs> basically using album covers. You okay, know, who could draw that the best? Wow! And so we did that for years and years, and, and in high school, um, I wanted to take something other than dramatic arts and things like that that you have to take. Yeah. Like, like, <laughs> so I took art thinking, okay, I could do this okay already. And I did it. And I did a pen and ink of a plant, I believe that was the subject. And they sent that off without telling me. And I got a gold pen wow. and a certificate, things like that. And I went to D.C. Was that the regional contest? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I was really happy about that. So I was wow. like, and then I said, well, I can do this. <laughs> this is okay. Yes. So I started doing more and more. So That's where after high High school, you then also attended the Art Institute of Chicago, mm -hmm. and how was your? But you you left after some time, correct? Yeah, about half a year. Um, it was different than I thought. Um, I also attended the Evanston Art Center, okay. and then I graduated from there, um, which is more of a small, you know, type of setting, like three or four hundred people. So yeah. the Art Institute is really large, and so it was a little different with not having. Um, to the knowledge of how art schools really work. Mm. And it was different with teachers not actually staying in the room with you, um, just coming back to sort of see what you did and mm. check on it. Were you there. not a fan of that No, process? no, I'm more of a question and answer, what's wrong with this? Yeah. Or, you know, what do you think I should do? And you don't really have that to, to bounce off of. Yes. So I, I got a private, more um, smaller to do okay. so. So a lot of your paintings, or maybe even a majority, I saw, I got to see a nice chunk of them. Um, of them, they were all African American, yes. and I know, as I can say, you specialize in showing a positive yes. image of African Americans in your paintings, and that's that's one of your goals to inspire African American artists. What, why, why is that your goal? Well, basically, um, just growing up um, over the years you've noticed that there weren't a lot of positive images of us out there. Even though I was in the Art Institute, the great thing is that you are able to go to the Art Institute Museum mm. for nothing because you had an ID. Mm -hmm. Never saw, you know, I'm looking for people that relate to me mm -hmm. and you don't really see that. So I, I was determined 
that we're we're going to be seeing so far. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, slowly but surely, we're getting different museums. Of course, our museums, you saw what museum have yeah. as us, but you want to make sure that we we can be everywhere because yes. we're visitors of that museum as well. So. And I think also representation is very important. Um, or maybe even some of the students that attend Evanston Township, if they see your work, then there might be somebody that, that wants to get into the arts, but they're not truly inspired because they don't see somebody. Exactly. Well, how do you feel about um, representation? Uh, do you see it in your in the school that you work at, in their arts program? There's a lot of really good students. Yeah. That it's really good work. Um, and they do have a variety. And that's because our school is so diverse. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have everybody. And everybody's inclusive, so that artwork just comes out there on the walls, they're in the auditorium, and they have little art shows on, a, on occasion. And even at the end of the year, I think they put them in a glass case, and then all the other students get to vote on which ones they like, mm -hmm. things like that. Well, so I'm pretty sure they still have the competition. <laughs> exactly. So very good work. Do you do any um, anything with the arts um, program at your school? I do on occasion. They open it up to our staff, and okay. sometimes they have the staff work up there. Nice. Um, so when they ask, um, we, um, do portrait painting. Yes. So let's talk a little bit about the process of it. Okay. So do you draw it out first? Are you sketching it first? And then how, when do you know, oh, it's time to paint? And what, what are you painting? How are you painting? Are you doing oil? You know, okay. go ahead. And well, me. I basically do um, drawing. Sometimes I sketch out first, but I put the sketch on the canvas. Mm -hmm. And um, depending on how uh, large I want it, making a grid and then putting it on. Um, I do most of my my portraits in oils. Um, it's a little easier to work with and it's very flexible and doesn't dry really quickly, so it's very important to be, make changes if I want to. Yeah. I have done some in acrylics, which dries really fast, <laughs> but uh, for the most part they're in oils. Um, I just recently started doing pastels, mm -hmm. um, a project that I'm working on for salons. And then on um, on occasion, I do charcoal drawings, and that's just um, charcoal papers. Definitely charcoal. I've tried some watercolor as well, so that's a little bit more intense since you can't, can't really change it. <laughs> but it does. It's it's coming out pretty pretty nicely. So do you have a do you have a favorite time of the the year or the time of day that you like painting? Um, for the most part, due to my obligations at work and, mm -hmm. and uh, family obligations, I'm pretty much painting. In the evening, so mm -hmm. from nine thirty to about two a.m. Wow! I and then work the next day. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my my zone, and then uh, yeah, two a.m. is my limit. Wow! So you're juggling two different things, and actually three because you're a mom as well. So what what would you tell people that want to pick up painting or another skill? What would you tell them? What advice would you give someone? Um, try to stick to a schedule. Um, and of course, things change especially when yeah. you're dealing with young people. Um, but you you have to be able to stick to a schedule and to always try to find some time to do the painting what or the drawing. Know? And I take a sketchbook with me everywhere I go. So everywhere, everywhere. Wow! So <laughs> you can buy little small ones mm -hmm. for the purse. So in your purse. whatever you're going to do, take it with you on a fly, on a train, on a bus. You can always have time to paint. It. How quickly could you sketch something? It depends. Sometimes I do it in like 15 <laughs> seconds, 30 seconds. Um, Can you sketch before. something? What would you like me to Anything. sketch? Anything. Surprise us. <laughs> um, let's, let, well, I don't know. <laughs> let's try the lady over there with the computer. Okay. So I would start just basically doing the head. And on the train, I would just basically get the shapes in mm -hmm. and put in what I think is going on with the person. And just basically put in as much as I could before they moved and stopped moving, <laughs> you see. And then since I know they're on the computer, I would put that in and would you, try to get do as you much sketch possible. people more mm -hmm. or mostly people or scenery. Um, um sometimes I do scenery. If we're out at the park, um we try to do um we go out and sit at the lake and try to do as much as we can that way. Um, and then I bring my whole crew and they do their <laughs> things and I do my thing and we have a good time. I feel like your lines are also, they're very sharp. Oh, they're yeah. very... I try to make it more decisive. Mm -hmm. I do have, um, I just finished a course um, that I was 
taking for quite a number of years. And he was showing me how to just basically don't worry about what the lines are doing. So that's why I said when you do things, you can do almost anything. As long as they say you know what you're doing, it's not going to, it doesn't have to be precise, just as long as it comes out sort of looking like something. And then you intensify this later. When you get a chance, um, you go back and do it, draw it again. Mm -hmm. And do it with either charcoal or whatever you need to do. And just sort of so, so you know what it is you, you were doing. You see? Amazing. And just basically put it in as much as you can. Go ahead and show us what, oh, what you have here. What I quickly here. came up with was a sketch of a young lady. Doing so a this is a 10 second sketch, whereas this is. Um, that uh, painting took me about a month. This would take me a good a month. This <laughs> alone, maybe a week. A week. But well, practice every yeah. you know ten second sketches, and you get much. You know, do, you'll love what you're doing. I love it. I actually really like it. Well, thank you thank so you. much, Miss Ransom. It yeah. was great talking to you and learning about your painting and your what inspires you and what you hope to see in the African American community. Thank you. Thank you, guys. And thank you guys for watching this episode of Shy Chat. I'm your host, Moyo, and I will see you guys next time.